Hello, my name is Eric Putkinen. Thank you for joining me. I'm talking about the unsettling reality, the illusion of your existence. And I'm going to talk about this in terms of a dream primarily today, because I think that if you think about if now is actually a dream, just go with this for now. Because in a dream, you could be sitting in a room just like you are now. <laughs> You'll see other people, you'll see animals and trees and buildings and the world around you. Just as you are in the waking world, the world appears normal, even in dreams. And although in a dream you might be a totally different person, you might be an adventurer going on, a, on an adventure, you could be a pilot flying a plane, you could be a sea captain doing whatever. Um, you know, whatever the, the flights of imagination can take you, you can dream whatever scenario can happen. But whatever character you think you are in the dream, you always have this feeling, I exist. And fundamentally, what's being identified with is the dream character. The dream character is being identified with. And of course, the entirety of the dream character is a fiction. It's illusory. It doesn't really exist. The entirety of the dream character disappears after, after you wake up in the morning. And so the, the dream character does not hold any reality in terms of it's, it's not true. It's a temporary thing. It comes and goes. It's imagined. And at no point in the dream, at least no dream I've ever had, and I and I and if anybody has had a dream like this, let me know. But at no point in the dream do you go, I am, you know, everything is consciousness, and I am that consciousness which is everything. That never happens in a dream. <laughs> at no point do you go, no, I'm not this dream character. I'm the consciousness, which is the entirety of the dream. But if somebody has had such a dream, let me know. I'd be interested in, in knowing. Um, but in all my dreams, nothing like that. I've had some other very interesting dreams, but never one where you, you, you snap out of believing in this, this me, this character, because Consciousness isn't a me. That's the other thing. When you, because if you if you said, well, I am, you know, everything is consciousness, and I am that, you know, or I'm not other than that consciousness, or you know, in some way, relay that. You you would have to understand that everything in the dream is the same thing. The the chair is just just as much consciousness as this body is consciousness, just as much as any other body is consciousness. The end, there there is no part in a dream that is not consciousness. It is all the same consciousness, <laughs> and that fundamentally is beyond. It's really beyond conception. It's not something you can look at and go, oh, I am that. As soon as you, as soon as you try to crystallize it into an identity, you, you start losing it. But there is this, you know, it's, it's an unsettling reality that everything you think you are is really the dream character. And none of that is, is true. It's all illusory. Everything about this character the body, the mind, the thoughts, the memories, the emotions, the, the point of view, the, the sensory awareness, the conscious awareness, however you want to, all these different things, however you want to put it, they're all part of the dream character. <laughs> and fundamentally, you are not that. You are that which is omnipresent, which is everything. Nothing is outside it. And it is a different point of view 
Because even saying omnipresent in everything is saying too much. This is why some teachers, especially in Zen, will go the other way and say, it's void, it's nothing. You are nothing. <laughs> this is why in Advaita Vedanta, at least the classical, they only poetically and, and rarely say it's oneness. Oneness is the wrong word because oneness is a one and nothing, zero, is closer in terms of it's not a thing. It's not a something. <laughs> this is why Nisargadatta Maharaj said, uh, one of my favorite quotes, he, he said, uh, my, my heart tells me I'm everything, you know, my, that my wisdom, my mind tells me I'm, I'm nothing, and between these, my life flows. It's because you, you know, to try to identify with everything is also not quite right. <laughs> Fundamentally, it's beyond concept. And that which is beyond concept cannot be identified with. And any, any me in it would be also flawed because if there's a me going, well, I exist, and I'm consciousness. I'm trying to identify with this. It's just giving a safe haven for the me to continue. When fundamentally, it's better to say there is no me. <laughs> that all of me is illusion. All me is illusion. Um, all identification is misidentification. There's different ways of saying this, but you're basically saying there is no me. Fundamentally, you don't exist. You being the operative word. There is no you. There is no me. That fundamentally is an illusion. So it's true to say you don't exist. Not that there isn't existence. Existence, consciousness. These are obvious. They exist. But they are beyond conception. They are beyond what we can conceive of. What we can box what, what we can identify with. And when you try to identify with something, you're trying to assign a me to it, which is even a further error. It's best to just see through the me, realize there is no me, and be it everything or nothing or consciousness. They're just pointers, but it's best to even not have words. It's simply a silence. It's simply unsaid. Because as soon as you say everything, as soon as you say nothing, as soon as you say consciousness, you lose it. And this is why in Taoism, they often will say the Tao that can be said is not the true Tao. Because fundamentally, you are trying, in order to say, you are, you are conceiving, you're putting into conception. And as soon as you put into conception, it's now no longer accurate because so much is lost when it's put into a concept <laughs> and so i think it's quite right to say you don't exist the illusion of your existence you don't exist is is the right way to put it and it is unsettling for many to hear such a thing it's like what do you mean i don't exist and a lot of times there's what's almost always an egoic push back well i know i exist and, you know, be aware of that. <laughs> watch, watch the pushback and fight for, no, I exist. I know I exist. Everyone says I exist. <laughs> but don't be fooled. That is just the dream character. And the dream character fundamentally is imagined, is an illusion. It's made up. And that which really exists is the consciousness which is everything <laughs> which cannot be identified with or conceptualized it's beyond conception and so kind of think about this kind of play with this if you got any questions comments please post below um but until next time thank you much